Hey guys, what's up? The iPod Kid here, and today for this video, I do have two apps to review for you guys. Uh, the first one we're going to touch on is the new Line Runner. It is a free application and one of the most addicting I've ever played. Uh, really, really fun, and I bet you have zero chance of beating my high score. I'll show you guys that one soon. And then the second app we're going to review is the new Tap Studio. Uh, one of the most user-friendly applications I've seen. If you're familiar with the Tap Tap series on the iPod and iPhone, uh, what this app will allow you to do is upload your music from your library. You completely create and customize all of the song tabs, so you're going to be playing the tabs, you select when you're going to play, and then you can upload it to a database, and you can play other people's uploads as well. So let's start off with Line Runner. This game is a blast, and there's my high score right there on level one. I bet you guys have zero chance of beating it. I didn't even get the high score. One of my friends here, George, got it for me. Um, I can only probably get to, I think, like 300, 400, and he cranked out 830 because he's a nerd. And there we go. Horrible start. So what you do is on the right side of the screen you tap to jump, on the left side of the screen you tap to roll. Simple, right? Yeah, it's easy until, well one, it's hard to do while talking, uh, but then also it's really, good lord, um, it's really difficult when you get a little bit farther because the blocks will start to get a little bit closer um, and that gets to be extremely difficult and that's one thing I do want to touch on. Uh, these levels are not completely randomized every time you play them, which I kind of didn't like. I wish that they were randomized. Uh, I think that would just make it more fun and a little bit more fresh every time you played it. But there are 10 different levels. Uh, we'll show you guys those right now. There are 10 different levels that you can choose from. There's also online if you want to have leaderboards and stuff uh, to see who's doing well and uh, who's going to beat you. So, there you go. You do have all these different tracks and each track is going to be different obviously, but they won't ever change in customization or randomization, which kind of stinks. But it is free. It's fun. Uh, try and beat the high score of 830 by George. I can't do it. Uh, but it's a fun one, especially because it's free. So that's Line Runner. Uh, pretty fun one out there in the App Store right now. Alright guys, and the second app in this review, like I said, is Tap Studio. Um, probably one of my most favorite games that I've seen so far, uh, only because it really, really allows you to have complete customization. I really haven't seen a game that have this much customization since like Little Big Planet per se uh, on PlayStation. Because what you're going to be doing is completely creating new songs and uploading them to the database, uh, and then you can play other people's uploads as well, which is really, really cool, and it makes it feel like you're almost a creator of the game. So you start and make a profile, uh, so you'll be able to upload and then also download other songs. You have inboxes with messages, libraries, so you can start on your own, and I'll show you guys that one right now now and it's pretty simplistic on how you're going to make one all you do is you play a song we'll play sure bowling for soup why not uh, and then you record and it'll play through the speakers and then you just tap whenever you feel necessary there's even the album artwork in the back that's pretty cool too and we'll wait for the drums to get here we'll make this a drum song Then you can just tap your face off and make it as hard as you want to, really. Uh, then you can click uh, stop, you can save the changes, discard the changes. I'm going to discard because that was crap. Uh, and then once you're done, you can upload it to the database or you can play it on your device. But I'll show you guys right now uh, what I was talking about, how you can actually go and download other people's creations because that's where it gets to be really, really fun. Uh, so you go to the tab vault. And the uh, thing about this app that kind of is lame is that you can only download tabs for the music that you already have in your library. Uh, so for example, if I go to the top 25 and if I see a song that I really like and I really would want to play, but if I don't have that stored on my device, there's some policy with Apple and iTunes, they won't let you download the song. This is so you're not going to be getting free music, essentially. You do have to already own a copy of the song on your device before you can download and play it. Um, but that's already settled down here under Library. It'll find all of the tabs for songs that you already have. Um, we'll go to Dave Matthews and we'll play one. Oh, I don't want details. You can go into more details and stuff, see how many people have played it, uh, ratings and stuff like that, because you want to make sure you find a really accurate song. Um, but I want to play frickin' Dave Matthews. Ants Marching. So this is a hard 98% accuracy uh, and has a pretty high score. I'm probably not going to be able to beat it. But let's just play someone else's created tab. They didn't want to play the drums. Yeah, dude, this is a sick tab, right? I don't know who the idiot is that created this. This app absolutely doesn't follow this song at all makes it almost harder because I'm just doing random hitting. Anyway, so that's one of the songs you could pick out if you want to. Uh, but you can even just go back, you can always find new songs and stuff on your library, which is awesome. So, go to the homepage, you can save your tabs if you want to download them, just have them right on your device. That is the new one, 
Tap Studio. I highly recommend it. Uh, the two apps that I had for you guys today were Line Runner, free and very addicting. Remember to beat the high score of 830. And then Tap Studio, your own created customized game, uh, very similar to Tap Tap Revolution. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I will talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day.